stock, and that's crab and made from just, lobster. Uh, up crab and lobster shells. Uh, just a crab and lobster shell. And yeah. then You're officially on my channel, the uh -oh. master of the stock. The uh, right grated uh, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Uh, red bell pepper and lots of uh, onion. Onions. Uh, a little bit of garlic. And lots of uh, uh, squid or calamari. And this is a little bit different. This is a uh, Dungeness king crab, which is normally not in Paya. Yeah. So on the Spanish and then rice. You got the rice. Yeah. Oh, no, but, uh, that's it. Rice. Very, that's very it. simple. Keep it simple. Yeah. Right. No, not right. too many ingredients. Well, we're gonna Good we're gonna help you uh, make this in a second. All right. Very cool. exciting. Here's the pan. Here's the pan. I need the fire. Downstairs in the shed or outside. Here's the dog. Yep. No, that's not too bad. Okay. There we go. It can't be too hot. How those ribs, buddy? I put no salt okay. because the stock is really rich. Mm -hmm. uh, really salty. Uh, yeah, salty. At least the uh, I used like I said I used to make a sufficient so it's really concentrated and I put it on I find out it gets burned so it's actually best just to chop it up and cook it right away instead of make a sufficient and yeah. make it and freeze it so this is just straight up and it'll cook and uh, it tends to get the rice a little bit sweeter so with the uh, yeah with a lot of onions with the onions yeah I use a lot of onions with yeah. mine I've never used uh, red pepper though I'll yeah that. red pepper yeah brings in that um, Smoky red I pepper flavor. I see a lot flavor. of paellas with red pepper they on put the top. top. Yeah. yeah. It, it's uh, in Spain. It's um, they do the pico and then you roast the pepper and then you put it on top. Oh. And, and it's, it's for decorations and stuff like that. But I find like if you sauteed cooking. That's it, what I do. I do the red, yeah. the slices of yeah. pepper on top. Yeah. Sauteed but, first. But I think in Spain mostly it's onion and garlic and then maybe some red pepper in some places. But um, so this is kind of go. Right. Do it. Um, and it'll have to cook until it's really I'm going to let this cook a little bit longer to get it thick because he's not using my secret shortcut with the paste. That was a very sad dog. Nobody wants to play with him. Like yeah. last night I met with uh, Okay Peter, Julian. we're ready. Ready this for is, the rice, man. Yeah, this is the rice and this is I'm cooking the the calamari at the same time. I put a lot of calamari because they actually bring they was they're resilient to uh yeah. the sauce. Yeah. Oh yeah. it's resilient to cooking? Yeah, they don't oh, over right. they don't want to get overcooked too much? Mm, I didn't know that. Mm. Very cool. Because, um, uh, so the fire is actually pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's turning out good. Yeah. Last time I put it too much and uh, too much wood and it got uh... Here we are, making Peter's paella. And the reason why we're cooking this now is actually the appetizer and stuff will be eating in 15 minutes and the initial rest so once the paella is done. Then this is an interesting technique, I just stir fry it, but uh, you kind of flatten it out to get even cooking. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it's a very edible, you know? Yeah, this, uh, for me, in general, the stock is everything. The mm -hmm. stock is like a... Uh, it's like the, the pizza dough, right? Yeah. Oh, why is that the black stuff? Oh, that's not good. We gotta take the black stuff out. Mix 
it up here so it's even, all right? Sure. You, can you got a spoon? You black stuff out of here with this. Oh, yeah. that's a good idea. Now the main thing is this, this is all cooked. I thawed it. And then basically what I'm doing is just uh, gonna put it straight in because what this does is I cracked it in advance so the um, the broth will, would go seep into the crab. That's king crab? Yeah, that's king crab. <laughs> it's, it's frozen, it's already cooked so it, I'm, I'm just taking it from the freezer and it's thawed. And what it does is it absorbs the flavor of the, the broth, right? That's the main thing. So what you do is you put this in here. You put it early because it is and then do you want to grab you want the, the, the yeah yeah you want to scatter it in so it, it opens. And then, uh, so that's basically it. I, I I'm just gonna keep it really simple and liquid. The main thing is that once you actually I should turn these over. You're gonna need a tongue. The open part, the crack part, should be facing the bottom. Right? Yeah, the crack part should be facing the bottom so that it absorbs the broth. Is it absorbs the broth. So then get the flavor from there. Looks like half of this half is a lot more cooked, so I mean hot, hotter, so we're gonna have to put it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna get it once in a while. This is fine. As long as we have. I'm gonna get a little tongue around. There we go. Sweet. That's it. So that's the paella. Not much else. <laughs> Nice yeah, job, awesome. buddy. Peter, you're the master. Huh? Well, you're the see how master paella first. maker. Let's see how it out first. Yeah, we'll just you got you got two you got something yeah. to, to yeah. turn wow. up. You've got this down to a very simple process. I mean there's not a lot in there. Huh? I mean it's it's a simple it's, it's, what I find is for, at least for this type of paella it's all the broth. It's, everything's in the broth. Because the, the broth is the lobster and crab and it has a lot of flavor and it absorbs it, but it, I think this is all okay. Then Carol, what do you think? Is it Carol. you waiting for some paella? So what we'll Beautiful. do is we'll... Uh, we, gotta, we gotta turn that, baby. Yeah. Nice. Nice uh, hmm? It looks good. It does. I mean, it just... I love so, king crab. It's just, just all... I'm gonna put the lid on because the lid will help get the smoke flavor. So we've got... Yeah, let's give it a one, 180 yeah. turn. Yeah. What, what's the, the first fish on. you put in it? With, um, what? Yep. Calamari. Calamari. There you yeah. go. Yeah. All that's in there is calamari, king crab, and the... This so this is the, uh, is this a Zen paella? It's, well, it's actually got a lot of stuff, but it's yeah. relatively less than, not a lot of decoration. Less than normal. Less so is more. calamari, <laughs> the clams, king crab, and clams. king crab, that's yeah. it. Less is more. Less is more, right? We'll see. Looks good. <laughs> but the thing, the beauty of paella is that it's, it's like, a, it, what it is, it's a mix of everything, right? You put whatever you want, uh, except for sauce. Historically, well. it was all the leftovers. Yeah. Yeah. For the last couple, for the last week or two. Mixed, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's so like a lot of on Sunday, huh? Yep. Yeah, for the for Sunday. the women, the women would yeah. like work all week, and the men would work in the fields, yeah. and then the men on Sunday would would make the paella. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then the women would get all spend all morning getting dressed up, which is why typical Spanish women spend hours uh, yeah. getting dressed up. That's, yeah, that's why that. you know, like uh, bouillabaisse, right? So it's a the car fisherman's for, uh, dish in it is in the car waiting for half an hour in Marseille in Provence, and then. But now become like a high-end, expensive stuff. But basically, it's just leftover bones, and right. they make a stock out of it, a broth, and then the yep. rabbit carcass. And it's the thing about bouillabaisse. Yep. It's interesting <laughs> is that it's not the fish that's important; it's the broth. So the, for the French, yeah. uh, when you have a bouillabaisse, they put like these big fish, and you actually that's not the main part. The main part is the stock from the fish, because exactly. the fish doesn't have a lot of meat, and it's not like fleshy and stuff like that. So we'll wait for like a five minutes, and when we lift it, it will be completely. The heat, it traps the heat in so it actually cooks it more heat. Okay, well I'm excited, I can't wait. Yeah, uh, it looks amazing. So I had no idea we were having paella. Me neither, are we having paella? It's crazy, yeah. A ver, una foto con tu primo. Mmm, vid, mmm, video. We're making a tapa and this is going to be a tapa. 
This is one of my favorite though. You had this a few many times, right? It's just right, a right, right. like a Yega. The only difference is that it doesn't have the... It doesn't have the... Well, maybe we can buy a rock and beat it against a rock. Yeah, but you have to get them live and beat it against a rock. Okay, buddy, here we go. Oh, it's getting, getting closer. Now, let me ask you philosophically, do you, do you like it uh, al dente or do you like it? I don't like it crunchy. Mm. I like it when it's cooked. This is good. Hang on, I think it's right ready actually. Huh? We can give it a rest. It'll it'll be it'll be good sitting. It's looking great. Do you want to give it a burn? Did you want to give it a burn or not? You don't you don't get the the uh, burnt part. No. You don't do the burnt part. Not because I can't. I don't have the control of the heat. Yeah. So I can't blast it. Uh, you can do it in the oven. Okay. So this guy. You want to cover about, it. Yeah. No, we put a couple of pots on it. <laughs> oh, it's looking good. That was perfect, buddy. Okay, whose red wine is this? I don't know, but I cleaned my glass and yeah. it disappeared. Yeah. Is this it? I know, I cleaned mine. It's Peter, you're ready to reveal the paella? Um, it's actually it's not traditional paella for the record. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's this is, this is a special paella. It's still warm, so that's good, right? Very, oh, it's so beautiful. It's still warm. It's oh my uh, gosh, look at that. It'll fly over. Wow. What do you think, buddy? You look good, mucho espacio. Yeah. Wait, where's the... Wow. Okay, hey, everybody. You know what? Put, put the we all ready? Huh? Why don't so you just put your plate up and you get some food and Peter can finish you. The women get served first, right? Women first, ladies first. No, no, no. You're still here. I'm going to go and go. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. 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 But, uh... Peter, this is. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, so there's two things that Carla loves. Oh Seafood. Yeah. No, <laughs> clams and king crab. Ah, okay. oh. Is that true? Oh yeah. my goodness. Came to the right place. Puedo, puedo so she's the right house. She's like the happiest woman <laughs> on the planet. Right but it's now. actually unusual to have to, yeah. It's king crab is not typical for uh, yeah. Okay, Sky? Oh yeah, I'm ready, yeah, for sure. Mm.